Hello guys, welcome to the train part. Why am I so bullish on Lunar Token right now? I actually think that there is a good chance that we might experience in the short to medium term a 700% to the upside. In this video, we're going to be looking into the fundamentals, the technicals. At the end of the video, we're also going to explain how to get Lunar. So if you want to learn more about Lunar, stick around, get comfy and let me tell you exactly why I'm so bullish on Lunar. First of all, let's start with what the rest of the people are seeing. The rest of the people are normally looking at this picture right they think yeah you know it's been sold out nothing is going on but let me tell you there's a lot going on under the hood with lunar crash at the moment the lunar crash website by itself went in the past months to the top 500 more visits websites on the web <laughs> that's incredible and there's a reason for that there's so much information that you can gain from the lunar crash platform all the traders on the crypto space are starting to turn their heads to look for information directly from lunar crash because when it comes to social information there's nothing out there that's aggregating so much information condensed into single metrics like the old rank or the galaxy score and that's exactly what we've been using to trade successfully with bots. In the past months, Lunar Token has been very aggressively listed in multiple platforms, DeFi and also in exchanges. And there are many plans to list in many more exchanges to come. For example, you can get Lunar from MEXC Global right now. But what exactly is making Lunar so bullish? Why now and not before? Well, for that, I have prepared the following chart. What is the movement of the price on Lunar? So Lunar was listed right here and it started coming down and down and down. Down, but all it was doing is following the trend of the market. BTC at the time Lunar was listed was also coming down and where people were getting paid in rewards with Lunar in the platform, they decided that the best thing to do was to sell it just because the whole market was selling at that time. And given that this is a low cap at this point in time, people just sell it out without even giving it any thinking. So when it was listed, it was valued at $14 and it kept going down and it kept going down. A bunch of news changed completely the trajectory of this price. First of all, around here, Lunar Token announced that the level four was going to go live. And let me explain what is the level four. When you go to the Lunar Crash website, you get access to different levels of data, features, alerts, and tools in general that are extremely valuable for any manual trader, but also for bot trading. You can even do back testing. You can check my latest video about how to do back testing on social data and it can forecast exactly all the bottoms for any token. That's extremely, extremely valuable information. And you can only get that with level four and to get level four access in the website guess what you have to hold lunar since they announced that then the token kept going down and it found finally a bottom around here on the 24th of february yes at that point also bitcoin was bottoming there and it started the trajectory to the upside very good timing as well because at that point level four went live and when level four went live that was the last bounce here and it started printing higher highs and higher lows in this chart we can see the levels of the cpr once you conquer and manage to get the price above the pivots you're going to start fully officially an uptrend on the monthly and the price of lunar has not only managed in April to get above the pivots, but also it conquered the first resistance and the second resistance. That's something that we haven't even done with Bitcoin in April. The general market in Bitcoin is now taking a retracement right now as of today, the 6th of April. And you can see that in Bitcoin reflected there and the token as well is kind of taking this retracement. And what do we want to see is that the price, after getting to the second resistance, we want to see the price bouncing on these pivots. These pivots are located at the 046 price of Lunar, which coincidentally is exactly the golden pocket, as you can see here, the 0618, which is very frequently the level 
where the price bounces the strongest to the upside. So finding support in this area here will be fantastic. Most of the volume has been concentrated around the 40 cents and we have already conquered the 0 040. Let me remove the CPR and let's look at our friend the QFL, which we really trust. This one is the QFL one hour, so it's the aggressive. So you can see here at the top, it signal a sell and now it's signaling right there a buy. So QFL at the price of 52 cents is signaling right now a buy. But that's not all. There's a second news that might be even larger than the first news that can also take Lunar way higher. And that is the announcement that happened right here in the price to do with Lunar 5, which is a feature that is going to allow you in decentralized to stake your Lunar and get even more rewards. So you're getting two things that are making fundamentally very strong the token. The first one is the level four. The number of users that are seeing value in a level four is increasing by the day. And all those users, they need to buy more of the token to be able to gain that level four. As you get the level four, you get more rewards that are paid as well in Lunar. So people are holding it for the data and also for the rewards. But now that you can also stake it, that's going to reduce the liquidity of the token because all those tokens are going to get in rewards and are going to go potentially directly into a staking pool that's going to lock down for a period of one to 12 months. All of these things are completely slowing down the downtrend of selling of people that didn't know what to use the Lunar for. So the whole argument of why to hold it, why is it valuable, is now taking a strong argument and pushing the price to the upside. Now let's look at how high this thing can skyrocket. Now I'm looking at the four hour chart in the logarithmic scale. The price is situated at 0.49. I'm flagging all the horizontal levels that are significant in terms of support and resistance or related to clusters of volume. We are right now hitting the first level of resistance. But if we break this one, we can get to 1.45. All this area here is very significant in terms of volume. But the final target I have is to go back to 4.18. Just so you know, the all time high is $57. So let's look at the potential to the upside. First of all, we need to break this resistance. That's 36%. And that can easily happen. The movements of Lunar are very aggressive. Like you can see here, this is a pump for 900%. So when the market cap of a token is that small, it's very easy for the token to make these massive movements. So getting to the next level of resistance is absolutely realistic. That's only a 200% to the upside. The second level to the upside is 700%. Now, I'm not saying it's necessarily realistic to expect this price for this year, but definitely if we were to do again another all time high, that will be basically 11,000%. So is their upside is just ridiculously, stupidly high. So I will say anything that you can get between $0.05 to $0.68 is in a very discount price. We can call it accumulation price. But here's the question. How do you get Lunar? Because if you are using only Binance or FTX or any of the big exchanges, you won't be able to find it there. You're going to think, ah, oh, so annoying. I don't have access to that. But you need to think the opposite. People now, they have more constraints to be able to get them. It's much more difficult to get it. And the functionality and the utility is right there. So the demand is there, but it's difficult to get it. So you can use that into your advantage and buy it first. That's exactly what I did when we hit the 0 3. I was FOMOing as soon as I heard about the level 4 and I was seeing the price going down. I was monitoring it every day to be able to buy it at that price because I am bullish on that functionality and that eventually is going to reflect in the price. I'm going to explain to you the way I exactly manage to buy Lunar. I use my MetaMask and I use it on BSC network. By default, when you are on MetaMask for the first time, when you just open an account, you're going to be in Ethereum network. And this BSC mainnet here won't appear by default. You're going to have to click on Add Network. 
that's going to take you to this screen. You're going to need exactly these details here to fill the form and save it. Once you save it, it will appear in this selection tool here. Where can you find those details? I'm going to leave a link in the description below to exactly this article that belongs to Binance. The network that you want to add is called the main net and the details to the form are exactly here. You just need to copy paste these values, network name, smart chain, the RPC network, goes here. I'm only getting this error because I already did it before. But if you're doing it for the first time, you shouldn't see this error. You should be able to straight away save it. Once you save it, make sure you have selected the network. You're going to need some BNB here if you want to ever withdraw value. But to deposit, you don't need necessarily BNB. You're also going to need BNB to be able to swap. So first, you're going to have to deposit here some USDT, BUSD, whichever token you want to transfer to here. Just make sure that when you're transferring to here, you triple check that what you're sending is to the Binance Smart Chain Network and you use this as the address to withdraw the funds so they get deposited into your MetaMask. Very important that you check that. If you are sending from an exchange that doesn't support BSC and you're sending it to another network, you might lose the funds. Okay, so let's assume that I have already deposited some USDT and it's appearing here. So now how can you swap it to the other token? I suggest that the first thing that you do is that you import the token Lunar. And that's very simple. You have to go to coinmarketcap.com and then here in the search at the top, you're going to search for Lunar. Just make sure you type it correctly. This is not Lunar with A, that's another token and neither is Luna, which is Terra. So don't get confused, it's Lunar. Once you land in this page, double check that you're seeing the symbol here of Lunar Crash. We're going to expand this selection tool here and we're going to find the BNB smart chain contract. If you tap here on copy address, it's going to copy to your clipboard. Next thing we are going to do while we're still on BSC network, we're going to click on import tokens. I'm going to paste the contract and as you can see, as soon as I paste the contract, the token symbol appears here. Now, this says E Lunar. Yes, it used to be called like that, and that's why it's appearing in this way. But don't worry, that is the same thing, and we can confirm it in CoinMarketCap website, which is a very good source of information. You can confirm that the contract is exactly that. They one ended in 304. We add the custom token, and it's showing us E Lunar, saying that I don't have any, and then we head back in the menu, and we are going to see now BNB and Lunar. I still don't have any Lunar. So assuming that I have BNB to be able to swap and I have USDT or BUSD or any other token, then I can swap it. And I click on swap and I use whichever funds I want to swap and then I select here Lunar token. Now it appears as Lunar, but they offer you to verify the token on BSC scan. And if we open the link, we see that the contract is the same contract that we got from CoinMarketCap, which is the one ended in 304. So it's a little bit misleading, but we are doing it correctly. So let's say you're swapping your USDT now to Lunar. This is the way it will look. Let's say it's a thousand dollars and this will work. It will enable, but because I haven't deposited BNB, it's not allowing me to swap. Once you review the swap and you approve it, you wait for a few seconds, sometimes even a minute, and it gets swapped to Lunar. After you do that, you're going to copy to the clipboard this address and you're going to add it to the Lunar Crash website. You're going to head down to your profile and you're going to find your wallet and you're going to add a new wallet. You are able to add Ethereum wallets or BSC wallets, either of them is going to get recognized. And if you are holding among all your wallets more than 500 Lunar, you get automatically level 4. If you like this content, hit a like, subscribe to the channel and very important, leave a comment. A comment is the best thing that you can do for this channel. See you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.